you, uh, this game came with every Xbox 360 when it first came out. Like it came out, just stocked onto the hard drive. And it was one of my favorite games to play. Do a marathon mode. Yeah, you basically gotta make. Oh god damn it! I played this on another console, so it's like thought I gotta restart because I played on the I played it on the Xbox One. I don't know if you might be able to play it on like Game Pass or Xbox app. I'm not sure. Okay. Sure. Oh. This was my last game. Okay. Fuck. All right. So this game, you kind of just like, you kind of work it around like this. I guess it's just, but your main goal or the main thing of this game is to get these stars. And how you get these stars is you've got to make a complete like hexagon thing going on where you have to get colors all the way around. But they can't like, you know, be touching each other because then, or they were like, they have to be kind of distant from each other so they won't activate. And then once you get all the stars, you either connect the three stars together and then you get a bonus point and get a lot, or you connect all three stars or connect six stars around again like this um like a hexagon and you get a black pearl and then you can once you get a black pearl then you it's just like it gets, keeps on going and going you just keep trying to make hexagons it's crazy so let me see if i can the stars allow you to do this too Oh, yeah, and then there's bombs that you gotta defeat before they kill you. That's also another thing. Uh, my best bet is to get this to lower shit. Uh, Might be dead. No, okay, who barely. Okay, see, like right here, I'm about to make a star because you see how it has like all, um, five of the colors, but they're not touching. Now, when I move this one, it's going to turn into a star. Watch. See? And then when you get like multiple stars connecting to each other, you can do weird shit like this. You can like walk them. wherever you want to, or even separate them at a certain point. To be honest, I, I would just mess around until things worked, because like it's hard to understand like everything or all the pieces that need to go together when you're doing this. But you would just like, because this was free, you would just get bored and play this shit while you were just like, Sitting at home one day. This will be like, mm, you know what? I can play some Exic. Then you play it and you just sit there for hours getting stuck on this game. Uh, 
have to look for a copy. Yeah, it's it, it's a good game. It's a it, but it's, it's one of those games that's lost the time that no one really talks about because it was like part of the 360 area. I also gotta show you. Oh shit. Oh shit. I'm not ready to get banned. No wait, I don't. I don't have Xbox Live anymore, so I can't get banned. Okay, it's cool. It's cool. We won't get banned. It's fine. Uh, Uno. <laughs> we won't get banned for Uno. Why would you get banned for Uno? So, on the Xbox 360, Uno uh, has video cams. <laughs> it has video cams. <laughs> and voice chat. So, yeah. Um, and you see some wild stuff on there. I don't know if it's still like that today, but you it was uh not it was a different time. Wouldn't even say it was a good time. It was just very different it was it was a bad time. Okay, I'll just be honest, it was a bad time. Yeah. Me and Jared saw some wild shit back in the day. Alright, let's get rid of these. Oh yeah, stars also delete everything. That's another thing. Legend says no game of Uno was ever completed. Ah. Maybe. Oh wait. Didn't want to do that, but okay. <sighs> oh, I'm fucking, I'm fucking stupid. Yeah. There we go. See what I mean? Like, I was just sitting here and I wasn't even, like, wanting to, like... What's happening? I was just, like, not even wanting to play Hexic, but then I'm just, like, hypnotized and I'm like... I can, I can keep going. I can keep going. It's fine.
Let's go. Uh oh. Okay. I'm actually surprised that I'm getting to show you this. Because this is kind of rare when I'm about to, if I can pull it off. Yeah, the music can get like somewhat, uh, what's it called? Yeah, trippy. And it plays through, I don't even know how many tracks, but at some point it just kind of, just, you just like, oh, okay. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Oh, I'm dead. I am so dead. That's what I should have did. Uh, I, I realized what I did. I uh, fucked up. All right. Well, I got six stars. But if you make them into six, you'll get a black one, and then you make a black pearl. And the goal I never got, what I never could do in this game, was get six black pearls and then connect them all together. Once you do that, you basically beat the game. I couldn't do it. Like it was just too hard for me. Yeah, I'm dead. Yeah, that was that was my highest score back in the day. That was the highest I got. I got one black pearl. I didn't get a new high score. It's, it's actually really old. There's Jared too. See, Jared even played it. This is how old this is. So how many people had it? Three million, you know, like kind of shit. Um, but yeah, my friend Jam, who I played Halo Three on on the YouTube, you can find it on the second channel where I played through Halo Three again with him. Um, Jam was like really into this, and he got one million, and he got the three black birds. Oh, I think it's you. Only, you can get three. You have to just get three of them and then connect them. You have to, and that'll get you like a million score, and then that's how you get to the top. So, yeah, and then there's timed. Apparently, I had the highest score on survival. Surprisingly, but yeah, that was hexic. <laughs>